Welcome to today's video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you how you can create a CDS view, so core data services in ABAP. Um, because of ABAP Cloud and the new approach of creating access to database tables, CDS views play a fundamental role in this. And this is one video to get started to learn the basics. And of course, there will be more videos about CDS views, more advanced concepts, but this video is just to, to get started and to show you the basics. So here right now I have opened up Eclipse. Um, I've made an own video of installing Eclipse, installing the app development tools. I will link this so you can also install it and get started because um, yeah, spoiler alert, uh, to work with ABAP Cloud, to work with uh, CDS views, you have to use Eclipse. You can't use um, the former transactions in the SAP GUI like the ABAP dictionary and so on. You have to use Eclipse. I will also show you this. Um, but let's get directly started. Of course, you can also do it from scratch. But what I can recommend you is to um, use the little wizard. And to do this, first of all, within the Project Explorer, you have, of course, you have multiple uh, possibilities. What I can recommend is that you uh, select your package in that you would like to create the CDS view. Of course, you can also mention your package in the um, creation step. But first of all, let's select your package then right click on this then choose new and add a ob ABAP repository object and then you have to choose core data services and then data definition then go to next then as mentioned within here your package is pre-filled um, if you have not selected your package then you can type it in here manually you can also click on the browse button to uh, choose and to select your package manually but here within here um, it's important to enter your name description and the reference referenced object so basically what is the name uh, in my case i just would like to use set i underscore flight because here right now i would just to select um, some demo data of flights and then under description yeah just flight what do you want to but um to repeat it under name, it's important that you using a um, custom namespace. So starting with Y or Z letters or your um, specific namespace, normally starting with a slash um, to not yeah, interfere with the SAP namespace. That is really important. And under referenced object here, basically you enter your table that you would like to use within your CDS view. And in this case, I have uh, prepared or I'm using one table to have some um, demo data of flights. I'd like to show you this also um, within the data browser. So open up the SE16 and type in this table. But here basically, yeah, you're getting some sample data of flights because I'm using the other platform trial 1909 and here i have some sample data that's perfectly fine to show you this and let's go back to eclipse because here once again reference object is the table that you would like to use to select the pure data because um in ABAP Cloud, you're not allowed anymore to select directly the database table. So you have to use the CDS views that are basically selecting the data on table. Then go to next. Uh, in my case, I have entered the temporary package so dollar tmp if you have specified one package and your cds view has to be transported to the quality and to the productive system and then here you can create a new request or you can enter an existing request number so not needed right now i go to next once again here this is so useful this is basically, as mentioned, little wizard. It's a template that you can use to create your view. And because um, 
yeah i'm using the other platform trial 1909 i'm not allowed unfortunately to um or i'm not able to use the um, new cds view approach the entity i can also make an own video about this but unfortunately i can't use it right now on technical purposes so i'm using the um yeah the previous version the view and um, keep in mind that this is obsolete on the application server ABAP 7.57. So keep this in mind. You should use the entity, but um, yeah, as mentioned, I will use the few right now. And if you have other approaches, other use cases, um, you're seeing a um, little preview. So what the outcome will be what will be used for you you can click through it and um, have a little description and down here you can see what is the outcome and this is um, yeah a very very useful if by any use case you don't want to use this template just uncheck this checkbox and then you can create your cds view from scratch um, but i recommend to use the template so then click on finish and then basically, yeah, as mentioned, um, the preview or the code will be um, inputs in here. And first of all, within the view, you have to enter your SQL view name. So basically the table in our case that we would like to define and use and just, yeah, um, for demo purposes, I'm entering this table name. <coughs> You're having some annotations here right now. Um, some aliases um, to define the component that is being used within the CDS view. Um, yeah, this is uh, very, very important. And basically, yeah, no, um, you can save it. You can use Shift F1 if you want to, to format it. You can use um, Control F2 to um, do a little syntax check. Um, you can use Control F3 to activate it. And now you have activated successfully. And um, yeah, as mentioned, maybe to, to repeat it, here you have a select and basically here you're defining the table and basically yeah, you're defining the primary keys that you would like to use, some aliases um, to, to use them within the CDS view. And as mentioned, you can do a lot more. You can use built-in functions, you can use inner joins, uh, joins in general, left outer joins and so on. So this is very, very useful. But now you have uh, basically uh, created it and with the um, F8 key, basically you can output it. And here within Eclipse, you can also see what is the output. Um, as mentioned, um, I'd like to go to um, the SAP GUI once again um, to the SE11, so to the ABAP dictionary. Here I'm entering the cr previously created CDS view and now I click on display. And now you can see this as an information um, within here, as you can see, the data definitions can only be edited using ADT in Eclipse. So once again, if you're using with CTS views um, with our cloud, you have to use um, the IDE Eclipse and you can't anymore use um, the, the, the yeah, known transactions are dictionary um, but here you have it but of course you can use it to um, to quickly to read the CDS view to get an overview about it what it's doing and so on and how you can basically uh, use the CDS view that it's also quite um, easy here I'm going to the ABAP editor SE 38 I create a really easy um, ABAP program just to show you this because just tempo that's perfectly fine um, just like to show you this so within here how you can select the data from the cds video it's so easy um, you can just use an select statement and then you're um, calling within here the name of the cds view and just to show you this i'm using inline declaration So just for demo purposes, shift F1 
control F2, control F3, just to show you the setting a breakpoint, F8. And now you can see that uh, within here uh, you have selected the data from the CDS view. You can use it within here as you want to. And that's basically it. So yeah, uh, please write in the comments what are your wishes, what you would like to see, what you would like to learn from CDS views. Then I can create an own video about this. And of course, if you have any questions left in general about CDS views, put them also in the comment sections and subscribe please to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.